To a developing story, troubling new signs this morning that Russia is on the verge of invading its neighbor Ukraine. U.S. officials say nearly 200,000 Russian troops are now amassed along the Ukrainian border. Meanwhile, Ukraine's president is calling on the West to impose stiff sanctions now. CBS 2's Christina Fan joins us live from outside the Consulate General of Ukraine in Midtown with the latest. Good morning, Christina. Good morning, Cindy. President Biden is convinced that Russian forces will launch an attack on the Ukrainian capital city of Kyiv within the next few days. The president is expected to convene a National Security Council meeting later today to discuss the tensions. Tensions are reaching a tipping point in eastern Ukraine. U.S. officials say half of the approximately 190,000 Russian troops along Ukraine's border are in attack position. There's been an uptick in shellings, and Russian nuclear forces spent Saturday flexing its military might, launching ballistic missiles in what President Vladimir Putin said were pre planned military exercises. Vice President Kamala Harris met with Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky in Munich. If Russia further invades Ukraine, the United States, together with our allies and partners, will impose significant and unprecedented economic costs. The U.S. has sent over defense weapons to Ukraine. U.S. officials say if there is a Russian invasion, there could be up to 100,000 civilian casualties. Inside Rondell, a Ukrainian restaurant in Sheepshead Bay, families are fearful for loved ones back home. I'm really worried because I have all my family is lived there. My mom and my sister live there. And I hope that uh, God will be with us and with our family there. Ukraine's president is begging Western countries to impose sanctions now and not wait, which this man thinks can help. I believe the, the Putin and everybody around him is going to think about and they're not going to be start the war. Possible sanctions U.S. lawmakers are weighing include cutting Russia off from the global banking system, which would make it nearly impossible for financial institutions to send money in or out of Russia. Russia is a global supplier of wheat, so the U.S. Agriculture Secretary said U.S. farmers may have to step up if Ukraine's exports are cut off. And the president has warned of the potential impact on energy prices. And the White House is also warning major U.S. companies about the potential of increasing cyber attacks from Russia, especially targeting big banks and also companies that oversee power and water systems. We are live from Midtown. Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. Christina, thank you.